Okay, so finally finished the MCU Phase 1, Avengers Assemble. Okay, so that's six films. Everyone's kind of had their starter film. Iron Man's had two films within the Phase 1 part. Uh, but yeah, they finally have the collaboration now. We get to see them all together and it gets really, really good. Okay, obviously don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, check out my Twitch stream. It's uh, links in the description down below. Check that out, give it a follow. Um, but yeah, so Avengers Assemble is obviously the first time we finally see them all working together. Uh, eventually they do work together. But yeah, two hours and 23 minutes long. I'm trying to see the budget. Uh, it got 1.5 billion in the box office. Um, pretty decent. It's, so yeah, this really fleshes out a lot more of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, what S.H.I.E.L.D.'s got going on. We finally get the big airship, uh, which you see in like the Fox Kids cartoons and I assume the comics, uh, but I've never read any of the comics. But yes, yeah, we get a lot more S.H.I.E.L.D. involvement, who Director Fury talks to uh, and stuff like that. So pretty good. Uh, but in terms of a film, yeah, this is a lot going for it. There's a lot of big areas, so we get a lot of time uh, on the ship, then a lot of time in the city. So we get two huge like platforms of scenery of different tech and different stuff going on. Uh, and it's sort of really nice to see. A big heavy focus on Loki. Loki is the main antagonist. And again, Tom Hiddleston is fantastic as it is. suits it so bang on. Uh, again, still the sibling rivalry with Thor and Loki, which is always good to see because Thor wants Loki to do good. But Loki doesn't like doing good, uh, so it's always butting heads. Um, we kind of we don't see Asgard in this one, uh, even though obviously he's mentioned a lot, and we got we still got the gods and stuff. But this is completely derived from that, so it's just kept completely on Earth, um, except when we still see a bit of the universe, so thing through the the portal the Tesseract creates. Uh, finally, get to see some Hulk moments. Uh, they always keep going on about how much they fear him and that, like what what the big guy can do. And, you know, this is why the earlier ones for me, the Hulk's like the best. Uh, and then he becomes awful in Infinity Wars and Endgame. They completely take away of what the Hulk is and how cool he is and his potential and that sort of thing. So these, these are really enjoyable to watch just because everyone's just sort of like in their zone. They're doing what they love to do best. Thor has a lot of lightning moments, a lot of hardcoreness. Um, he has his little fight with Hulk, which is really good to see. Um, yeah, so in terms of like the first time we see them all together, um, this was put together really well. Uh, like it's everyone is good to watch. You see, like I've never really liked Hawkeye uh, that much. He's never been a fan favorite for most, but. In this, he gets a lot of screen time. He has no, even though he's got like Emma's name and stuff, but he's got nothing really that special going on. But he gets a lot of screen time, try and give him some love. You know, he shows his supreme accuracy and how helpful that is in situations. So they're giving him the best of the worst situations. Um, I don't, this is the worst Captain America outfit for me. Uh, I'm not a fan of this one. His one in First Avenger, I really, really like. So uh, the outfit for this, it wasn't my favorite. Obviously, we get to see Tony Stark, um, you know, really sort of like character developing now. This is his first big sacrifice, all right? This is like he went, took a nuke into space to save everybody. So, you know, he's gone really, really 180 from his like selfish do whatever. And, and now he's just like sort of settling down in pepper parts uh, and risking his life just to save everybody, uh, and which is... A good thing because obviously Captain America is having a go at him because like you know you're selfish you won't sacrifice yourself for anyone uh, and you know he's there carrying a nuke on his back uh, so it's it's good to see how everyone's starting to like change and show respect and the comedy is like pretty decent like like humorous areas but it's just one of the best films like it's a lot going on you really just see it's still quite grounded but it's the first time the world has seen the alien threats, you know, there's more going on. Uh, the Avengers are now out in the open and it's not a secret anymore. Everyone knows, everyone's sort of like realizing there's a lot of stuff going on behind like closed doors that everyone's been keeping secret from everyone. But now it's like impossible 
you know, a whole city's just been a battle zone for superheroes and aliens. So it's blown the lid off everything, and now it all starts going madness in phase two. So I'm looking forward to getting into that tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely a fantastic watch. There's some really good moments with the Hulk uh, and Thor and the fight on the Leviathan's back. You know, they're just they're just working together so well. And you just see Hulk smash a huge piece of steel into the Leviathan's back. And Thor does like a, a mad height hammer charge and smash it into the, the dude's back. And he just fucking dies instantly. And then another great moment where Thor's fighting Iron Man in the forest. And he puts down the hammer on Captain America's shield. Uh, you know, just so much cool like like fight scenes in this. It's really done like smooth as hell. Uh, and there's there's a couple massive panning shots uh, that's done in the city that just pans over everybody uh, going you know they're all fighting they're all doing the thing where he just goes to avenger 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 and it's just a really smooth like sort of shot kind of thing and it just looks really good um there's some some mad scenes in this uh and yeah obviously the puny god moment with hulk and and loki is one of the best where he just destroys loki in the ground uh because hulk is the man but yeah that's it uh my thoughts on this one is just it's so good all right well like comment share subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye